So, which one of you boys wants the honors? I will. Go right ahead, Elliot. Which one? You hold R1 and press X. <laughs> Self-destruct. <laughs> R2, I'm sorry. Aim for it, Elliot. Get <laughs> shit, <laughs> this fucking deco is tacky. Nice one. Uh. Guy ran the baby maker. And Elliot just fucked up. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. You just got... Did I not kill her in time? No, you fucked up completely. Shit. At least we saved, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you say we try that again, shall we? Yes. Yeah. John, you do it this time. Okay. <laughs> and that is the uh, the wall ending. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scab ending. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the up close flesh ending. Like in a fucking kaleidoscope. The pilot control is doing that again. Oh, dude. shit. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure you're just not dancing this move criminal? <laughs> Same cutscene. You give it a shot. All right. R2 and X. Bueno, why R2 and and X. Sir Conrichio, Senorito? <laughs> there we go. Damn it, you fucked up. How no. do we keep fucking up? Seriously, how do we keep fucking up? <sighs> Let me do it. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> he just walks out the door. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> What Johnny and Elliot have just done beforehand is what happens when you don't pay attention to your world building. Also, it's the same fucking thing I did when I first did, played the game. <laughs> Remember that book about Agliophotus? <sighs> Motherfucker. Bingo. <sighs> you piece of shit. I am a piece of shit. So, let's take a look. Now, does she wonder why she felt sick when she looked at it? Let's, let's pop it in our mouths. The whole thing? No, not the whole thing. Just a jewel. What's that? What is that? What is it? What do you got? What are you holding in your hand? What is hey, that? What is that? A birth control pill. Oh, it's just a cough drop. <laughs> Last meal? Oh, you knew, you son of a bitch. I love you, Dad. <laughs> I imagine somebody yelling at, oh! Ew. Oh, last there's, night's steak. There's God. You do realize we just, this is actually one of the very few video games ever that actually just depicted a through to throat abortion. That's gross. And also, biology gross. doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, it does not. Neither but then does, again, that's neither, neither does shoving food up your ass and shitting out your mouth, but look what happened. Hey, what do you know? Hey, it doesn't work that way, but uh, this is a mythological oh, God. Like Oops. Squish it. Aww. What is a fetus? A steak. God is in. God the is TV. well done. Claudia, no. Oh. Ew. Claudia, don't eat it. I just had that last night. A B C God. <laughs> Bitch, you're gross. This game is gross, especially this part. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I have God inside of me. <laughs> Fortunately, your body's not quite the one that's worthy of it. You can do it, you're just not able to. I thought I was about uh, to. I, I thought I was about. To, I thought I was about to do a make my monster grow kind of thing. I just need to sit down for a second. Oh, indigestion! Yeah. That's what happens when you eat a god. Where's Holy my Robotussin shit, pill? This feels weird. Fucking Bobcat! Oh, can you insert the uh, Mario Brothers pipe down theme right around here?
Okay. Um. Whoa, shit! Wait, did something just grab her and pull her down there? It looked like it. Well, teal? I could just walk That's a vagina! Right yeah. here. Good symbolism, Elliot. That's a vagina. That's a sphincter. Are you ready, Matt? I'm ready. For once, we actually jump down the hole. Oh, shit. And then I'm just gonna be like, oh, what am I doing? 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 <laughs> By the way, uh, remember the beam saber? Yeah. If you beat this final boss of the game with a melee weapon, you get the beam saber. Wow. You have proven your worth. Here's a lightsaber. <laughs> do, 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 do. So is your submachine gun ready? Totally. When yeah. you have the submachine gun, this is easy. When you don't, it's actually a really challenging boss battle. Basically, the, the gist of this boss is you gotta run towards it so it comes out to greet you. And then afterwards, Whoa. it'll shoot fire at you. I'll try to showcase what I mean. Oh, that's her. Too bad Heather's kneecaps were reduced to pudding after this. After that jump, so now we're kind of fucked. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Double fuck! It's now down there, good. That was my kill. <laughs> kill stealing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, get your hand out of my pants. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> Whoa! Come God, kill. you look awesome. Oh. Bringing that towards you. It's gonna swipe. Breathe fire. It will breathe fire. That's the thing, that's why I kind of save all my health pickups for this bit, because it's such a pain in the ass. I wonder if I could go- I wonder if I could distract her with some beef jerky. <laughs> no. Jerky. You can! Is it eating the jerky? I no, heard it! No, it was... I don't think it was. Oh, huh, try it one more time. No, it's right there. It's, it's still right there. Try it one more time, one more time. One more time for the hell of it. I just want to see. Come on. Eat the jerky. <laughs> you jerk. It seems to be stunned. No, it's not going for the jerky. All right, see the man. fire curves, and then it comes back out toward Heather when it's nearly dead. So the trick to it is you got to get the right distance. Unfortunately, this battle also drags. What's the average? Uh, not too hard, but my god, this takes some time. Ow. You know, for our, for our god, our swat is pretty weak, lame sauce. <laughs> it's weak sauce. Well, it wasn't born from Heather. Exactly. It was made from a crazy bitch. Yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, so it follows the symbols on the floor. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Calm down here. It also likes to shoot two flames. But it seems to meet in the center, though. That's what it is. Right. I wondered if it actually did eat the jerky. That would have been some shit. You could bribe God with a jerky. No, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, no, but it bit some shit if it could actually eat. The, you could distract it with beef jerky. Oof. Yeah. Oh, that's Ouchies. not good. That's some good sounding fire, though. Mm -mm. Jerky. <laughs> Crispy baked dead. That jerky's gonna taste so good. Ow. That sounded like I just got fucking yeah, hit with a got, bite stick. It's like I got punched. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this battle drags. Not gonna miss words. I can see why finishing it off with the melee weapon, though, would give you... Well, using nothing but a melee weapon for this fight would give you a lightsaber. It seems to be like a self-challenge. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of one of the ways to go. Provided you, um...
good thing I got so much Yoohoo. <laughs> Thank I you, wasn't Nest. hoarding them for nothing. Good thing you have Nest Quick. <laughs> See, this fight is much more better here than in the movie, though. More better. More better. It, it's much better. <laughs> How so? In the movie, it's um, it's Claudia versus Pyramid Head. Huh? I am not kidding. What's the correlation? Uh, Pyramid Head was actually a guardian of Heather in the movie. Okay. For some stupid fucking reason. And then Claudia actually had a monster form, and it was. It was Honey, Pyramid Head protecting... This physical manifestation of my sexual urges is going to be your protector. <laughs> Any questions, Heather? Yeah, quite a few. I have several! <laughs> I have several questions. And the other thing is, we don't even see Valtiel in, um, in the movie. That's why Elliot hates it. No monster. Well, no nurse bashing monster. <laughs> It's a good thing your submachine gun is infinite. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I'm like very interested to learn like how you're supposed to do this with normal means. The same way you do it before, just take or way a melee longer. weapon. No, it, the melee weapon is the same. Once you shoots the fire, once you shoots the fire, that's your cue to go and beat it one in the thinker. That's why I said it. Would, that's why I said the battle with God's really kind of a range game. Oh yeah, she's all the way up there. Oh, there's that too. What I'm saying is, like, you back up just far enough so that you don't get, um, thwatted in the face with her long arm, but at the same time, you don't go too far that you're out of range to beat her one in the thinker when you have to run up to her get close with it. Basically, you bait the fire attack, so to speak. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> then you walk into it like an idiot. <laughs> This is all you're seeing here, folks, so... Yeah. This is better than the movie How, because at least the movie was faster. <laughs> <laughs> I think we actually have a point for the movie. Right. Tarted as it is, it didn't take this fucking long. Ow! Ow. You suck a punch for you, bitch! Where's my pool? This is the stuff. Ah, painkillers. Into my knees! Oh, and you got it. it. Well, there goes God. Some God. I thought we were supposed to punch God for cheesecake. Shit. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, past me. <laughs> Fuck you, past me. Fuck your couch. So it's over? Yeah. So. Yep. <laughs> Guess it's time to roll the credits. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> that's actually one of the trophies. In, I think that's the name of a platinum trophy in Silent Hill 3 uh, HD. Time to roll the credits. And now she's finally out to uh, let herself actually grieve. <laughs> this is the same voice clip. <laughs> Holy shit, good ear. Then we see a ghost of Harry giving Heather a baby. Shit. <laughs> How the fuck? Now it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Heather. I remember everything. Oh, now, okay. depending on what you achieve throughout the game, like if you kill a shitload of monsters and get enough negative points, you get the possessed ending. Where she goes back and shoots Douglas. Ooh. 
And then it's revealed that Alessa has taken over her. And it, so it becomes like an evil version of her, so to speak. So what ending did we get? We got the regular one. Okay. We damn near should have gotten the regular one. It looks one. like she saw something before a fate of the black. Right, and that's kind of like what... Right, like, uh, yeah. She saw God. Heather? You look like hell. <laughs> What? <laughs> Just a joke. You bitch! That's a dark ass humor. You bitch! I now gotta find pants. Cause my boxers are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> They're yellow and brown. Well, truth be told, they were that before this. <laughs> it's fine. I was just looking for a reason in the blame. <laughs> Real name. What was it again? Uh, Robin. No, I mean, Heather. Alessa. Cheryl. <laughs> she couldn't break it to her that her her father actually named her Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about that. It was in poor taste. Like real poor taste. Yes. Did he find it? I think he also found it 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Mason was frequent was yeah. a frequenter on the 4chan yeah, board. He's a lurker. Goddamn lurker. <laughs> Okay. So what's Heather going to do for college? Um, <laughs> find out in Silent Hill 4. 4, shit. This is a weird remix of the, of the theme from the first game. I almost don't think it's a remix. Silent Hill. <laughs> It sounds like it's a bad place to be. <laughs> Heather's father died. <laughs> Silent Hill, where your pants will be peed. <laughs> I can't get my phone out of there, so what do you get? No has. shirts, no shoes, no Douglas, <laughs> no pants. <laughs> he must have shut them too. <laughs> <laughs> By the scenario writer, his name was Hiroku Owa. Now to cool. head home and make steak babies. Claudia. Gross. 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 She <laughs> was a bitch. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> So, so there we go. That's yeah. Silent Hill 3. Final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Matt. Mm. Yeah, why don't you go first? You want to play the game? Adds a lot more action to it compared to Silent Hill 2. Well, and the Infinite Shot Machine Gun has nothing to do with that. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but even if you don't, you get like a shitload of ammo, weapons, and all that shit here. It's like, it makes up for the combat, de combat deficit of Silent Hill 2. But at the same time, like I said, it kind of trails on with Silent Hill 1. And honestly, I've always felt that the cult was the weaker aspect of the story in that regard. Like, it was much better when it was just, like, a supernatural, malevolent town. Psychological study. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it goes for, instead of a psychological horror game that 2 was, it retraces Silent Hill 3, and it's like, not so much psycho... It, they're psychological, too, but it also goes for the general horror feel of it, which I feel yeah. hurts it a little bit. Where there is a third party responsible for this, rather than it all just being in your head. Right. And more you dealing with the inner conflict rather than the outer conflict. Which well, I think not, what, not to say that there wasn't inner conflict. Well, actually, no, I'm taking that back. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, there is... In Silent Hill 2, it was more of an inner conflict, and it was, in my opinion, more interesting that way to see how James deals with it by the end of the game. Where in this game, it is a more... There is a physical being, an outer being, responsible for what's going on here, and there is still... Uh, a bit of psychological aspect to it just because you know Silent Hill 2 was so held in such high regard as a psychological thriller and it still is to this day I would want to stress that um, but to me this is gonna sound really weird but bear with me I've got to point to this uh, <laughs> it's kind of like what starting with Halloween 5 and Curse of Michael Myers did to the Halloween series after 1 and 2 did such a good job in the horror aspect where we're now getting into the cult 
and how we're yeah. explaining everything about like Michael Myers is actually like this because you get more of a concrete answer you start yeah. losing out on yeah. the abstract yeah a lot you lose the implications and you're being directly told which normally you know I I'm I'm hit or miss about a story that's mostly implied rather than just outright said because I'd like something to have a solid answer just for the sake of dis- uh, just saying that uh, fulfillment which works in certain genres horror though I think you can get away with that implication rather than just outright saying stuff I mean that's what makes FNAF so fucking interesting <laughs> what made the uh, so but basically this game could actually Peter like I said that's why two or three are usually the best ones because yeah. it depends upon what kind of mindset you have whether you want more of a concrete story, that's what three's for. If you want to have, if you want to use your brain, you know, explore the show don't tell aspect of stories, what you're supposed to fucking do, that's two. Yeah. Not to say that three doesn't slack in that, but it's just that three has a little more concrete to it than two does. But as a result, it loses some of its floatiness. Yeah. It like, loses some of the thing that gave Silent Hill two such the benefit of discussion. Right. Like, what does this really mean? What does that really mean? Well, if you read between the lines, you can probably see what it means. Or you can have your own interpretation for what it means and have fun with it too. Yeah. Elliot, hurry up and give us your final thoughts. We want tacos. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. I just want to say shit. Fine. Fuck it. No. <laughs> and that's it for Silent no, Hill three. No, but um, <laughs> but really, this it is a it is a very fun game. Like um, there, I do like how they. Um, implement more from Silent Hill 1 because Silent Hill 2, yeah, it was its own thing, but then you bring up Silent Hill 3 and they hear, and then like, it kind of assumes that you played the first one, but it still help, but it would still help, but you don't really need to play the first one as much because like you can do research on the first one and play through the third one easily. Right. And I think that helps it out a lot more. So does the mid, so does the mid cap, re- the uh, midpoint where uh, yeah. we get a recap on it okay, too. you got no stars. Nope, it's 10 star maximum. <laughs> Their final rank is the United States flag. Jesus. <laughs> Be bitching if it was. <laughs> yeah, God took me five minutes to kill. Split worm only took me 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I like the detail where God is not capitalized. Yeah. But the. To is. show the other. Di- no, di- that, but that shows utter disrespect for something that you don't believe in. Fuck right. You don't capitalize the G in God. Uh, okay. That's it for Silent Hill 3, folks. The and polls have spoken. The next game I will be doing for the channel is Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons cool. of Liberty. A game we've been meaning to do for a long time. And originally, we did begin recording months and months back before we moved into the, the house. Uh, but we decided to scrap it temporarily because we... What was the reasoning? I don't know. What was I the reasoning? I I was wondering about that for the longest time. Like I, I know when we recorded oh, it, I didn't say go up. But I know. Because it was my fault. I delete the footage. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. But luckily, Deckard. we're only about two hours in. We only did the tanker. We only did the uh, the, the tanker chapter. We we we, re- we barely got started with riding. So motherfucker. And hey, I don't mind. Reading. No, we didn't. We got we got up to um. Oh, we got the fat man. Yeah, you got. Yeah, the, we, yeah got we got the, the fat man. It doesn't take very then. long. Matt knows what he's doing in that game. Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. When I play it recently, but I'll be practicing that one up. This You'll time. be fine. And I still have my knowledge of it thanks to my marathon. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> I hope you look forward to Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. I actually am. And all the content ideas we're going to get from Konami in that <laughs> fucking game. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to keep going with it anyway. Uh, with that said, folks, hope you guys look forward to that and everything else is going for the rest of the year because we're getting ready for 2017. Oh, yeah. It'll be here before you know it. God damn it. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> 30s are sneaking up on us, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't really care about dirty 30s. Uh, I think 30s are distinct and distinguished. Tell yourself that. Uh, I will tell myself that because I have confidence <laughs> in myself. Anyway, for all that said, folks, I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. I'm Matt. We're the Super Gamer Brothers. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a fantastic night and take care.